everybody, this is Etho, and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2, guys. Again, I, I turned out the lights in here. I'm looking for... Like, if you look at the top at, at the Wayla, do you see any that say zombie villagers? Because I keep looking for them. Never finding them. <laughs> I think they are disabled. they got to be disabled in this pack. I would have found one by now. It's a 1 in 10 chance normally. And I've spawned in probably close to 100 zombies by now, I would think. So we're going to have to find villagers another way in this pack. I'm not sure how we're going to do it yet. Uh, but to begin with here, I thought maybe we would check out the AgriCraft farming station, guys. Because... I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> this was one of the main reasons we made that capacitor farm. So we need a, a farming station, a normal one. And then we upgrade it to the AgriCraft farming station. Needs a bunch of these crop stick thingies, which needs the organic capacitor goop that we got before. This is how we're doing, by the way. We got 51 basics, 5 octactic, and 18 double layer. Plus, I've used a few already, like 10 or 20 basics, I think. So that farm's putting out a little bit of stuff. It's good. Um, do we still have our recipe here? We do, but there's only space for make one more of those. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I gotta get rid of this. Oh! I was gonna say I gotta get rid of this elevator because I keep trying to use it, but I didn't mean like get rid of it, get rid of it, like for good. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, go back up. So, uh, we're gonna need four of those gears I saw was one thing. Let's go back down. So I think I left that stuff in here. Yeah, let's make four of these energetic gears. The rest of this uh, alloy stuff we will put into solar panels because we're still low on power here. Uh, photocells, I think they're called. Yeah, photocells. There's another type of solar panel, like the, the really good solar panels. We're not quite ready to get into those, but long term, that's probably going to be one of our main sources of power. We might check out the biodiesel generator too here. You guys have said it's pretty good. Might be a good good way to get more power. Um, we can make like a bajillion of those, of these solar panels if we can get uh, more glowstone. Uh, and we have the glowstone plants. I just need to start farming it. So, <laughs> that's why we're making a farming station here. Yes, okay, so we need a lot of these. We can make 12. It's not very much. Are we making electrical steel right now? No, we're not. Pulsating iron. I think I've used up all our coal dust now, too. Coal dust, yeah. Iron, silicon, and coal dust makes the uh, electrical steel. So if we just put this here, put our other two ingredients in... And this is getting coal dust, right? Turn that to alloys mode. Yeah, so if we then pull from, from the chest, we'll automatically make our electrical steel for us. Yeah, okay, cool. And, uh, hey, <laughs> how's it going? Another thing we should really do with these machines, because I'm still, like, just manually doing everything with them. It's taking a lot of time. Let's connect them up to our main system here as well. So we'll run cable all the way from here. It's misclicking all over the place here. Yeah, all the way to our main branch there. And then we'll tell these to extract. So it'll pull all the ingots out of there and put them into storage. And it looks like we'll need quite a few Z-Logic controllers with this as well. So it sounds like if you shift-click, you guys have said, yeah, look at this. If you shift-click into here, goes in automatically. That's cool. <laughs> so we are going to uh, semi-automate this at, at least. I'm just going to set up a chest back here. Um, and we will tell this to put items into there. Just the items we're using. We will extract on blue maybe. Okay. And then we will insert on blue. Or in. let's do in and out. So it'll put it back into our, our main system here. Um... Insert on blue, yeah. Okay, so now if we put redstone in here, zombie heads, silicon, solarium, it should all automatically go into here. Yeah, and it'll keep making them. Okay, cool. And then those should end up in our inventory panel thingy. I believe. 
Let's check it out. Z. Yeah, we got five of them in there. Cool. And we're also going to need these pulsating crystals. These are easy to do. It's just, uh, it's just diamonds. Like, come on. Piece of cake. <laughs> I'm going to make a whole bunch of these because I keep needing them for things as well. And I will go ahead and do that. Okay, well, you make 29 of them. Let's go ahead and do it. Why not? Uh, Z logic controller and the pulsating crystals. So that just makes the Ender IO farming station, which is kind of useless to us because if we try to farm crops like Agricraft crops, it's going to break all the sticks and then it won't replant, I don't think, possibly. Um, so we need this one. We need this one here. Cool. So we've been making quite a bit of electrical steel and we got enough of these farming base modules to do this now. But I've kind of underestimated just how expensive this thing is. Because <laughs> that's not it. I We need these modules, okay? So that's the big part of this. We need a whole bunch of modules. I thought they were cheap, though. I thought they just took these. But they take these intelligence modules, a lot of them. And each one of these intelligence modules is 96 electrical steel. So we're going to have to maybe wait a little bit here. But, like, for example, there is the... Uh, seed Analyzer Module. So, the Agricraft Farming Station Upgrade Module Seed Analyzer will automatically analyze seeds that are in the seed storage. It uses energy to do so. So we don't have to, like, manually put them through the machine. It'll do it for us. And then there's other ones that will um, basically check, you know, is this seed a higher or lower level than this one? If it is, change it out with a different seed and... I'm, I'm hoping if we get the right modules with this, we can just um, we can just throw in a seed here and, and come back two minutes later and it'll be a 10, 10, 10 or something. That's my dream. Okay, so what do we all have here? These are where we put the modules. This is a complicated device. <laughs> this is where we put crop sticks. Uh-huh. And we have to give it one of those so it'll till the soil. Oh, there's a spot for fertilizer even. Okay. Why is it getting no power, though? Does this not output automatically? Oh, it says output. Huh. Oh. There it is. Uh, I guess we probably need a cable here, then. Let's throw in a cable, just to try this out. Oh, you better be the right kind of power. That did not connect. Oh, you probably got to connect at the bottom, right? Right? Hopefully. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Whew. <laughs> I guess I'll put that here. Oh, wow. Okay, it's going already. Good. I guess the first thing we should 10, 10, 10 here is the glowstone seeds, because that's one of our main limiters right now. Uh, so I'm going to set this up like so. <laughs> it's going to look nasty. It's going to be gross, guys. Terrible. We'll move the farming station up here, because we need two blocks below... Uh, for the glowstone to grow. And made a bunch of crop sticks. We're making tons of electrical steel right now. All right, throw those in. And then we're also going to set up some sprinklers here so this happens quickly. Um, so what was the right height for that? I think it's at this level, right? Oh, yeah. And then at this level, I think we put the, the channels, hopefully. Put down our sprinklers here. Alright, so we're ready to go as long as we get our modules here. Okay, we got like 150 electrical steel right now. Let's see if we can do an intelligence module here. We need at least one of these. Make a lot of those now, good. No crop sticks. Oh, I just made a bunch of buttons. I hate when I do that. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Uh, yeah. Crop sticks. There we go. Good. Should have it now. Okay. Yeah, we ran out of these these again. So we need more electrical steel, probably. Uh, the farming intelligence module, though, takes a Franken zombie. So that is a zombie and a Z logic controller. We have the Z logic controllers. We got to grab a zombie in a soul vial, then put it in the soul binder. <laughs> With one of these, give it some XP. Good. And then we get the farming intelligence module. Okay, so definitely want the seed analyzer. 
doot doot. Make one of those. Oh, come on, this better work. It does work, okay. Whew. <laughs> Good harvest unanalyzed plants. Breeding module, it's cheap. Seed ejecting module. Plant upgrading module. They look almost identical, but they're not. <laughs> and they have the same exact recipe, just positioned differently. So I gotta make sure I do that right. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and try this out. We might have enough stuff now, enough modules to make this work. We're gonna try and get a couple more seeds going here. Okay, and those should grow quickly because we got the sprinklers set up. So if we put in the analyzer module, let's wait for these to grow first. Um, also, I wanted to try out bone meal. I don't think bone meal works on these glowstone plants, but it might when it's in this farming station. Yeah, we'll put some fertilizer in. Okay, so those are all fully grown. So now if we put in the seed analyzer, or no, we got to put in the seed analyzer and also the harvester, which is the harvester. This one here, harvest and analyze plants. So now it should harvest these. It's going to harvest these. <laughs> these are not analyzed. The seed is not yet analyzed. Yeah, it's not analyzed. It's got no power because I'm an idiot. That's right. <laughs> you know, we set this up and then I rebuilt it and it's like, well, we set up the power before. It's got to work now. Yeah, so it's harvesting those. Should analyze the seeds. Let's see, the seed is not yet analyzed. Okay, so it didn't analyze them. Maybe it matters what order these are in. Okay, the problem is I can't read. <laughs> this is where you put the modules for storage, like if you don't want to use them currently. I think you actually have to put them up here, though. Yep. YouTubers can't read, guys. Get used to it. It's just the way we are. So are these analyzed now? Yeah, now they're analyzed. So it says 111. Good. Good. Uh, so now we got to take it the next step. We got to make it so we can upgrade them. So we want the plant upgrading module. That'll replace any of these if there's a better seed found inside here. So let me put that one in too. Okay, yeah, so it's doing the cross sticks now. That's good. That's what we need. What's happening? It happens so fast you can't see anything. <laughs> okay. This should get replaced with a crop stick here. It didn't. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this is a new seed. It, it's not analyzed. So when this grows, it should find it better and then start replacing these, right? These all still say 111. Oh, oh! look at that. We got one. We got a 222. All right, guys. Awesome. So it is working here. Let's give it a bit more power. It's, it's struggling right now. <laughs> uh, so all the seeds are going into here, and you can see they're getting better. So we got the one one ones. Kind of goes up to 442 there. We got up to 5 there. In a, a fairly short amount of time, actually. So one more thing we're going to add is the seed sorting module. So this will transfer seeds from the storage to the output slots if there are better ones available. No need to keep the bad ones, is there? So, like, this is running out of space in here, right? So we got to get rid of these 111s. One, one, we don't want to keep using those, even though it seems to be for some reason. Because they're disappearing. <laughs> Let's throw that in there. I think these are the five we want, though, to, to make this happen. Yeah, so now they go into the output, all the garbage ones. Uh, except for the 111 for some reason? Wait a minute. Maybe we don't want this. <laughs> uh, 442. Hmm. I guess time will tell, right? We'll leave this run for a while. It'll be our little experiment for today. It's holding on to that one, though. Okay, we're going to make a little modification here. <laughs> we're going to do the plus sign. So we want the cross sticks in the middle and then the regular crops on the edges around that. And I think this will work out better because then there's only four plants for it to, to replace when it gets a better one. If you have a big field of them, every time it gets a better seed, it's got to replace the whole field, right? So this is 
Probably the better way of doing it. All right, and I put down a diamond chest below here to pick up the seeds. And also, as a 10 10 tens them, we get the crops, uh, which is awesome too, because usually you need a lot of something right when you make it. <laughs> so you don't have to wait around for it. 10 10 10. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that was like totally automatic and awesome. All we got to do to start it is give it two seeds at the minimum, it'll go from 1 1 1 to 10 10 10 pretty awesome if you ask me that's going to save us a lot of time do we have any repeaters i think they might be over at the botania islands okay so let's head over there uh last episode we did some botania stuff we made the extreme extreme infusion stone uh over here let's check out these guys too molten copper Fire water. Oh, biodiesel. Do I have safari nets on me? We should grab these guys. Yes. I try to always keep them on me now. <laughs> we got a creosote oil one, too. Um, I don't know how to farm these fluid cows, though. Like, what do you use to milk them? I'm not sure. i uh, have to figure out that out sometime soon, though. So, yeah. I thought I derped up last time. I made the extreme infusion stone, and I thought maybe I should have made the master one because uh, we wasted nine terra steel to make the extreme one this one would have uh, been the same price right but no it turns out you need a lot of stuff for this you need the guy ingots and you also need a mass zavincio block or zavincio or whatever which to get this stuff you need all the previous steps so we do actually need to make one of each of the stones to get up to master infusion so basically, we need a lot of terra steel, <laughs> is what this boils down to. So we're gonna try and make a terra steel generator, if it's possible. It should be possible. I can't place anything down. Taxes. So yeah, we gotta drop a mana steel ingots, a mana diamond, and a mana pearl on top of the blue plate there, all at the same time, roughly. So I think what we'll do is set up three droppers. Each of those will either have uh, mana diamonds, mana pearls. Where are they? <laughs> I don't think I got any of that stuff made. What happened to it all? Uh, mana diamonds will go in one of these. Mana pearls in another. Where's all my mana steel, guys? Oh, there's the pearls. Now I see them. Too late. Oh, steel. There we go. <laughs> Still not used to that, I guess. Okay, and then in the third one here, we will put Man of Steel. So then all we got to do, hopefully, is run a piece of redstone over top of this. Something like so. Yeah, let's try not to lock the hopper as we do this. So we will go like this. This is a very vanilla um, solution to this problem. <laughs> Except for the timer. I'm not using a hopper clock. All right, so this we will set to, oh, let's try 30 seconds. All right, and then we will have a lever here in case we want to shut it off ever. And let's go ahead and put that there. Cool. So when it activates these droppers, they'll shoot one of each item into the hopper. Because I think the open crate can only handle one inventory item at a time. So the hopper gives it a little bit of time to, to drop out the items. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Sweet. Okay. And I guess we need some way of picking those up too. We want to be able to pick up the Terra Steel ingot, but not like the Mana Steel and all that other stuff. Because if we do that, it'll stop the process. Uh, so maybe let's try out a vacuum chest. And let's grab a filter in case we need that too. Okay. And we're going to need more mana. We have 282 of these good ones. That's awesome. <laughs> that should do a fair bit of Terra Steel, I would say. Oh, we're, I guess we're watching it today. <laughs> sometimes I ride it, sometimes I run it. It's actually faster to run it, unfortunately. Okay, so put those in, and can we tell this to only pick up Terra Steel? Let's find out. Uh, we will put it somewhere in the way, because th this island is far too small. There is an item filter. Okay, good. Whitelist Terra Steel. Lower the range, because it doesn't need to be anything crazy. And I think that'll work out. Uh, okay, let's turn this 
Well, actually... Hmm, do we have any stone here? Yes, we do. Maybe we'll just try a button press first. And then we'll try to figure out how long it takes to make Terra Steel and we'll change the timer accordingly. That didn't work. <laughs> Why? Oh, there's no redstone above that. Whoops. Let's try it again. There we go. So it drops the three items. That produces mana automatically, so it shouldn't run out. And then when it's done there, see if the chest will pick it up. Oh, at least 20. It's got to be 30. This is a long craft. Yeah, it grabbed it. Okay, cool. And it's not picking up anything else. Sweet. So that should be automatic terra steel. Let's flip on our timer, and I'll adjust it accordingly if it needs, needs to be. And... There it goes. Got it. What's our timer at? Okay, and now just did another one. Okay, so we can probably shorten that by a couple seconds. Seems about like 25 seconds, maybe. We'll, we'll keep it at 26. Alright, let's try make another one of these infusion stones now. Oh, I stole that from it. Sorry. <laughs> I just apologized to the mana pool. Alright, let's go back to our main base. So I want to see if this takes durability loss when you use it. If it does, then we definitely want to get a mana stone. Uh, master stone. <laughs> as soon as possible here. Uh, Minicio. There's an L stuck in there. Minicio, there it is. First item. Okay, please, please don't take durability. It doesn't. Okay, that's fine then. Sweet. Okay, so we can make... We make all the stones, and we don't have to worry about them dying on us. Uh, we'll probably want a crafter then. Maybe we'll try make the crafter tier one. You know, I always forget to open up the reward bag. Like I'll cut the video, and it's like, ah, oh, darn it, I forgot to do it. All right, here we go. More, more of these trees from the ether. Okay. Uh, yeah, this tier one crafter is pretty pricey. I think we'll just make a bunch of the the Ender IO crafters instead. I think it'll work out better in the long run, actually. Um, this might get kind of nasty. Our base is a little bit disorganized. <laughs> Just a little bit. Not too bad. Could be worse, right? Uh, I think what I want to do is something like this, where we send uh, power and items into the crafters. Right. We'll tell this to only accept Minicio, so we'll have to whitelist Minicio. And Minicio, there you are. And we'll kind of go in stages here, so we'll do the Minicio, Axio, and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so whitelist Minicio in the first one. Okay. And we want this on inserts. Okay. Is it getting Minicio? No. <laughs> we'll set up our recipe so it's that and that. Good. Uh, I think... Oh, maybe these won't do what we want them to do, actually. Oh, no, if we shift-click it in. It's got to go right in the middle. I see. Okay. I know what the problem is. Our Minicio barrel is not hooked up. It's over there. Instead of hooked up to our controller. Hmm. Yeah, and this is all jammed up again. <laughs> we should really look into deep storage units. What do those cost in this pack? Because we need better storage capabilities. Oh, it's just vacuum chests and uh, the frames. Oh, that's actually really cheap. I thought they were going to be crazy pricey. Yeah, these hold like an unlimited amount of items in. Uh, which would be awesome. Okay, well, let's just grab some manually here and put it in. So it should... It should automatically receive this stuff. It'll automatically craft it, and then we want to take that out. So we'll we'll pipe it out. That will go into the next one, and then it will be for the next stone tier. Infusion. So there's five stones in total. We've made extreme, and we've made the weak one. So we need two more stones, and we have just enough terra steel to do that now. Cool. So you gotta throw these in. Okay, then we gotta upgrade them. I missed. <laughs> and 
Try not to pick up the, the lotus flowers dropping in. Uh-oh. Are we out of mana? I think we might be out of mana. Oh, there we go. That worked. Okay. So we got we got the weak, we got the regular, we got the strong, and we got the extreme. So all four of those, except we, we're just missing the master one. Okay, cool. Uh, so we'll head over back back to here. Oh, no, I wanted to grab a slime ball as well. Uh, let's grab a slime ball. There's one floating around. <laughs> it's like, why is that in the air? Because uh, I think we can make packing tape now. Right? Yeah, one slime ball and paper. That's easy. Okay, let's go back to the main base. We'll we'll move over one of those municial barrels closer, if we can. And this will be a good chance to try out the packing tape because I've never used it before. So I think it's just that and that. Okay, is our thing still working here? Yeah. So we'll grab one of these these drawer things. Oh, it's multiple uses. Why does it turn X? That's not what I expected to happen. <laughs> I thought it would grab it and then be used up. Can I... I'm so scared to break this. Is there another item that goes along with this? I don't see another one. Okay, I'm going to try break it. I'm scared. It worked. Because, <laughs> like, if you just broke it, normally all the items would fly out. All, like, 20,000 of them. <laughs> Probably would have crashed my world. You never know. Uh, okay, so we'll grab we'll grab this and put it next to here for right now. Taxes, excuse me. Oh, and then when you place it down, then it's it takes rid of the lock. I see. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so we'll t take those out and Yeti wrench nets. Okay, so those will automatically fill into here. It's making Axio. And now that we got the stones, we can put in our recipe here. So it's regular. And then we got to give it that too. So it'll make the yellow ones, Crucio. And then we want Strong. Um, and it seems like it's going to have a hard time keeping up. <laughs> Probably. we got to take it out the first time and manually put it in, I think. Yeah. There we go. So then it'll make the Imperial. We need a lot of Imperial, actually. And then the other stage is Extreme. Put that in there, and it'll make the purple Zavincio. Grab those three. Cool. And then finally, there was one more after that, wasn't there? Temporio or something? That's a special one added. Yeah, this red one. Okay. Custom things. That's not normally in magical crops. So what is this stuff for? That makes an ultimate furnace. Oh, that's how you make demon steel. Okay, this is like a late game item. Then you upgrade it and then you make crazy things. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Uh, oh, I didn't put the recipe in right. Well, anyways, guys, I think we're going to have to call the episode here for today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I want to give you guys a big thank you as well for all the support you've been uh, giving this series and, and me as well. <laughs> uh, it's been awesome. I've been really enjoying the series so far. Uh, I was worried like after we got into it a little bit here, it's going to get real grindy and I was going to start hating it. But no, it's actually it's still a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really having fun with it. So that is cool. Um... But yeah, until next time, we'll, we'll continue on then. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.